Okay, to calculate the FOC or front of center of your arrow, you only need three simple things. A calculator, a pen or a marker, and a tape measure. So these three things, we can calculate the FOC of our arrow very easily. So the first thing we want to do is take our arrow, put a broadhead on it. We want the actual arrow setup we're going to hunt with. Uh, you don't want to use a uh, field tip because the front of center calculation does rely on the entire overall length of the arrow. So we don't want to use a field tip because it'll be a little shorter. So we want to use the actual tip that we we're going to hunt with. Um, and we need to find two things on this arrow. We need to find the geographic center and we need to find the CG or center of gravity of this arrow. The geographic center is very simple. You basically take your tape measure and just measure the entire arrow um, from tip to tip. Uh, some people measure inside the knock where the string goes. I do not. This arrow is not leaving half of its knock on your string. The entire thing is, is flying through the air. So the proper way uh, I found is to measure the entire length of the arrow. This is a 30 inch arrow from tip to tip. So we have 30 inches. So what we'll do is we'll basically measure 15 inches in from the back. So 30 divided by two or half of 30 is 15 and make a mark. So we mark right here at 15 inches. So the 15 inch mark right here is half of this arrow length. It's, this is the geographic center of this arrow. The next thing we have to do is find the CG or center of gravity of this arrow. That is where the arrow balances. That, that's the point on this arrow where you can put a fulcrum and the arrow balances perfectly. I've made a real simple uh, balancing fulcrum here out of just a piece of, of metal from a hardware store. And you basically put the arrow in and slide it until you get it to perfectly balance like that. That is the center of gravity of this arrow or the CG. We make a mark there and then I have them on my arrow spinner here just to uh, make the mark all the way universal all the way across or along around the shaft. So now we have our two marks. We have the geographic center of the arrow and the CG or center of gravity of the arrow. That's basically all we need to calculate the front of center of this arrow. So to calculate the front of center, basically what we need to do is find the distance between these two marks. The D, I call it, which is the distance between the center of gravity and the geographic center. So we measure between these two lines and it is two and three quarters inches. So it's 2.75 inches between these two lines. And we know the overall arrow again is 30 inches. So all you have to do to find the front of center of this arrow or the front FOC percentage is take this distance and divide it by the overall length of the arrow. Real simple, so it's 2.75 divided by 30 inches and that gives, and then multiply by 100 to move the decimal and that gives us 9.2%. So this arrow has a 9.2% FOC, so that's all you need. It's basically just the distance between the geographic center and the balance point divided by the overall length of the arrow times 100 and that'll give you the percentage. Now to alter the FOC, basically what we do when we build arrows is we want to build a, a practice uh, arrow or a build up arrow. This is the first arrow we're gonna build out of the bunch and we measure this FOC. Uh, this one is a little light, it's 9%. I shoot for 11%. So what I do is, is uh, I can alter that percentage by either putting a heavier broadhead or a, a collar on the front, I need to add more weight to the front end of this arrow to bring the percentage up or lighten up the tail of this arrow. So for instance, I could use a smaller, shorter wrap that's lighter or slide my uh, veins up on the shaft a little bit further forward. We'll also give it more uh, nose weight. So to make uh, that FOC move, it's real simple. But uh, that's pretty much it, it's real simple. Uh, again, just reiterating, it's the distance between this geographic center and the balancing point of the arrow divided by the overall length of the arrow. Uh, multiply it by 100 to get a percentage and uh, try to shoot between 8 and 16 percent. Uh, I shoot for 11 percent on mine and uh, gives a nice, true, steady, accurate flight every single time. So try that the next time you're building your next set of arrows and uh, make sure you have the proper FOC for complete and total accuracy. 
Still looking to take that once in a lifetime Western trophy? Eastman's hunting and bow hunting journals are the number one magazines for Western big game trophy hunters. Eastman's is the only big game hunting magazine engineered specifically for you, featuring entertaining Western hunting adventures, detailed equipment lists with head-to-head -head gear reviews, and species-specific tips and tactics. In the back of each subscriber issue, you'll find the exclusive Members Research section. We give you detailed statistical info, expert analysis, and advice on the hottest big game units. Act now. Subscribe to Eastman's Hunting or Bow Hunting Journals, and we'll throw in our latest trophy hunting DVD absolutely free. Shipping and handling charges apply. Eastman's, getting you on track to your trophy. Get all this for less than the price of six rounds of ammo. Eastman's, your stories, your photos, your magazines. Call to subscribe or get it digitally now.